Well, Amanda, yes, it is called Elvis Week, and there are all kinds of interesting events associated with the commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the death of the king of rock and roll. And the biggest one by far is one that started about an hour ago. It is the candlelight vigil. That is when folks come streaming through the gates of Graceland, bearing candles to pay homage to the tomb of the king of rock and roll. It is the defining event in a week that is full of curious sights and sounds. On Beale Street, the crowd is expecting entertainment worthy of a time called Elvis Week in a place that helped give birth to the blues and in a club called Blues City. An impersonator is delivering one of the week's least predictable tribute performances. I'm the female Elvis impersonator. The world's largest living female Elvis impersonator in captivity. And you call yourself? Elvis herself. Is. It's that kind of a celebration. Excessive, energetic, and as all-American as a southern trailer park. Or a Tennessee mansion overlooking a six-lane highway. All right, good afternoon and welcome to Graceland. If Beale Street is the soul of the celebration, then the mansion on Elvis Presley Boulevard is its heart. And that's the eternal flame that his buddies in the Memphis Mafia bought. Yeah, it was the obvious destination for Sharon Whitehead of Jonesboro, Georgia. So how many years have you been here in a row? I've missed a couple years. She is among the thousands, reverently passing the gravesite on the grounds of Graceland. And I've been here probably 17 times since he died. Still mourning the passing of the entertainer whose remarkable post-mortem presence still inspires his legions of fans. It's a great loss. Even 20 years later, it's a loss. A lot of people get over the deaths of their family members quicker Before than that. Before that, yes. <laughs> and that's unexplainable. I have one friend who used to come with me, and uh, probably about 10 years ago, she said, this is enough, let's forget it. And she stays at home, and I still come. But the spiritual experience is only part of it. The week is mostly a celebration, a rockabilly Mardi Gras. Must be weird running into a lot of guys that look like you. Uh, yeah. Some have come up and everybody's amazed. Hey, over there's two Elvis talking together, you know? Anybody ever tell you you look like Wayne Newton? No, not that. Anybody ever tell you you look like, uh, Porter Wagner? Anybody ever tell you you look like Harry Carey? Anybody ever tell you you look like Pete Rose? Anybody ever tell you you look like Dolly Parton? Uh, yeah. And so the celebration goes. Neon colored, fueled by the memory of a groundbreaking performer, energized by a public eager to pay him tribute. I am Elvis, the Mexican Elvis. I'm an Elvis translator. I've talked about the Mexican Revolution, immigration rights, safe sex. It's a, a thinking man's Elvis. <laughs> Elvis didn't sing about that stuff. No, but I am Elvis, the Mexican Elvis, so I can sing anything I want to. Both uh, Elvis herself and Elvez put on very energetic performances. Elvez calls himself the David Bowie of, uh, of Elvis impersonators. The candlelight vigil continues here on the grounds of Graceland. They say 30,000 people are here on Elvis Presley Boulevard, and it will continue until dawn. Live in Memphis, Doug Richards, Fox 5 Eyewitness News. So how about it? Does Elvez and Elvis herself take their show on the road, or does it only work in Memphis? They take their show on the road. In fact, Elvez appeared at the Star Bar in Atlanta last year. Elvis herself has had a gig booked in Atlanta, she said, but uh, she had to cancel it and is trying to rework it. So, yeah, watch out for those folks. All right. Hot time in Atlanta, perhaps. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> a thinking man's Elvis. That's something new. <laughs> Elvis. <laughs>